All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to yet another video here on the channel. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about Joe Manchin today because, well, something that I thought and I considered would happen looks like might be happening. He's finally about to leave the Democratic Party. Yes, the thing that people have been predicting for almost six months now might in fact be coming to fruition that Manchin is finally done with the Democratic Party. So a link in the description to a Tim Pool video as well as an article, both links are in the description below, basically if you want to read and, you know, know what's actually going on. But in hindsight, most people actually saw this coming. There are a multitude of reasons as to why Manchin is thinking about leaving the Democrats, but it does boil down to one thing, in my opinion, and that is one thing only. He's fucking sick and tired of the state of the DNC almost every time, and I have been very annoyed by this since this whole thing has been going on. As early as January, Manchin has always struck down a ton of bills that the Democrats always tend to pass through the House, and he gets completely berated specifically by people like AOC, Elon Omar, Cory Bush, the squad, essentially. He's essentially getting attacked by the squad for striking down the bills, and even some mainline Democrats even as well. At one point, the furthest left of the party were actually considering primarying him, and of course, Manchin is not the only one who is getting attacks. Cinema of Arizona is also getting similar attacks, and she's not even to the right of Manchin. She's actually more of a centrist when you really think about it. So at some point, and it's even more ridiculous with Manchin, Cinema you can primary it at any time because Arizona is really just a bellwether battleground. It can go left or right in any election. But the situation with Manchin is entirely different because he is from West Virginia. West Virginia, politically speaking, is up there with Wyoming when it comes to partisanship. West Virginia, along with Wyoming, is probably one of the reddest states in the entire union. Most Democrats who are from West Virginia are most likely Joe Manchin style Democrats. Aside from that fact, the state pretty much is almost entirely red. I mean, it's no wonder that the Dems are upset about this, but you gotta this, at the same time, this is a red state. He, the, the job of a senator is to represent the constituency of the state that voted for you, and in the case of Joe Manchin, an overwhelmingly red state. A Democrat in an overwhelmingly red state voted for you, and even a Democrat in West Virginia is most likely the same type of Democrat as Joe Manchin. So what's the goddamn point? You are not going to primary him just because he's standing in the way of progress. I mean, you could do the same with Cinema. I'm pretty sure Cinema won't be, uh, I'm pretty sure Manchin won't be the only one. I'm pretty sure Cinema will follow suit if Manchin ever registers as an independent. She most likely will get primaried or voted out anyway. But just because somebody has a D after their name doesn't mean they have to represent some Democrat living in fucking San Francisco, which is basically what this insinuates. And now Manchin is basically tired of this stupid shtick that they've been doing towards him, the policies they've been passing, the pressure he's been getting, the fact that most West Virginians don't even really need a Democrat as a senator considering how red the state is. All of this basically lines up to Manchin wanting to leave the Democratic Party. Now the left, unfortunately, does not understand these facts whatsoever. They don't. And this is a very serious problem, and Styx Hex and Hammer has already made a video about this on his video about Manchin having the possibility of being primaried by someone just like AOC, and he said this numerous times in that video. The left and a good chunk of the Democratic Party has this thing of thinking because they've won in 2020, they took the Senate, well, it's a 50-50 split, but because Kamala Harris has a D after her name, makes the Senate a Democrat hold, and that they still have control of the House and the presidency. Basically, they control almost three branches of government. The Democrats have devolved into a mentality where they think they have a mandate, and they've been given a mandate, and they refuse 
to basically change the way they operate. So instead of correcting your mistakes of why you keep losing every single election time after time again, you instead blame your problems on Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema doing their own job. You constantly pressure them into passing things that they don't want to pass themselves. It's just non-stop provoking every single day. Back better, pass the bill! Build back better, pass the bill! Build back better, pass the bill! I mean, it's no wonder that Manchin wants to leave. And now you're threatening to primary him because he's just standing in the way of progress despite the fact that west virginia is a red state these people really are out of their mind look what's happening to the dnc this year right now they lost several state houses that they've targeted each race that the dems targeted is either the gop flipping things or holding things nevada's democratic party was just taken over by the dsa if we want to defeat capitalism, we are going to need a party that will organize working people to fight for the demands that we want and to win socialism. Thank you so much. Right, right uh, quick point of privilege. Quick um, point of personal privilege. Yes. Um, guys, uh, first of all, James Jackson, Sacramento, he, him. I just want to say, can we please keep the chatter to a minimum? I'm one of the people who's very, very prone to sensory overload. There's a lot of whispering and chatter going on. It's making it very difficult for me to focus. Please, can we just, I know it's, we're all fresh and ready to go, but can we please just keep the chatter to a minimum? It's affecting my ability to focus. Thank you. Thank you, comrade. Okay, is there a speaker against name, point chapter, pronoun? Privilege. Point of personal privilege. Yes. Please do not use gendered language to, to address everyone. The mayor of Las Vegas was literally forced to switch parties. The Republicans managed to flip a mayoral election in one of the bluest cities in the union, McAllen, Texas. And on top of that, you are about to lose a gubernatorial race in Virginia. Fucking Virginia. A state that has been literally an easy win for the Democrats since I believe 2006 or 2010, I don't really remember when the Democrats started winning constantly in that state. But still, Virginia is a blue state, and you're about to lose a mayoral race and a state legislature in that state. So bad that they literally had to send Obama to campaign for McAuliffe, because at this very moment, he is barely trailing Glenn Youngkin in the polls. How stupid can you be that you are literally lost a historically blue city that is full of Hispanics, the mayor of a blue city, Las Vegas, had to switch parties and become a Republican. And now you are at risk of losing a gubernatorial race in a blue state like Virginia. And you're still doing exactly what you are doing. Pandering to the socialists, making promises and not fulfilling them, enacting useless inflammatory policies that are not helping the economy but harming it, pressuring people like Joe Manchin to pass things that he doesn't want to pass, despite the fact that he's literally listening to his West Virginian constituency, and this list just goes on and on. All the stupid shit that they've been doing all deserve separate videos. I mean, can you imagine being someone from fucking West Virginia and being pressured by your own party to do whatever they tell you to do and you're being forced to pass things that you don't want to pass and you're trying your best to listen to your constituency despite your own party attacking you? Yeah, I would want to leave as well. There's an old saying that I believe everybody should be familiar with is... I never left X. X left me. I never left the DNC. The DNC left me. What Manchin is dealing with right now and the possibilities that he might flip parties is basically an embodiment of that quote and cinema could possibly be next. Anyway, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the little notification bell. Be sure to follow me on all my social medias, links are under the description below, and don't forget to follow me on New Tech because, again, Big Tech is a problem, and it's very hard for me to grow, and there are topics that are verbatim to be talked about online, so what better way to expand your platform by going onto these new tech sites? All of them are in the link in the description below, I will be uploading there momentarily, probably around early 2022. So don't forget to follow me there because, again, I will be uploading there soon. There's going to be exclusives there as well. But with that being said, as always, like, subscribe, ring the notification, and until then, take care, talk soon, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.